Let's try camera trapping. All right, um, I got the trail cam just over here and I'm gonna see if we have gotten any animals over the past week. I know there's a good game trail going there, so hopefully we'll get some results. Um, I've already seen that we got badger, we got um, fallow deer, red deer, uh, roe deer, and even the neighbor's cat. So luckily we'll also be able to get a fox because I heard one bark the other night um, just just across here from uh, from our yard. So. Hopefully, we'll see. We'll set it, everything up and see if we can find a good composition and uh, just see how it goes a couple of nights, I guess. So, let's go. Let's have a look. Badger. That's good. The badger actually walks this trail here. Oh, it's a fox. Yes, the fox is here. That is awesome. Let's leave it there for now and I'm gonna show you the trail. Let's go. Alright, so this is the game trail. Um, it goes straight across this patch of woods um, and I think it's the main highway actually. There are at least two more down here and there's some sparse ones but I do believe this is the main one. Uh, it is the most treaded one. So I just need to find a good composition. I'm not sure. I really want to get the autumn leaves and everything uh, to make it actually look like autumn. And um, I really am going for the fox right now. It was here last night, so I really, really hope we can get it. I don't know. I'm gonna try and see if I can find a good composition. So bear with me. All right, let's go through this. This is everything I'm gonna use for the setup. So first off, the camera, the 550D Canon one. Uh, I got the transmitter and receiver for the uh, flash and the PR sensor. I'm gonna use AA battery magazine for the grip, just to make sure it lasts a bit longer. For the uh, transmitter and receiver, we got spare battery pack. This will make the triple A's in there last way longer. Replace them with double A's. Um, I got the case that you've seen. Um, I got an old banged up trusty tripod that's gonna do the work. Uh, I got the um, cam traptions. Pierce sensor, the version 3, right there, and um, it's all wireless, good stuff. Just a lot of spare batteries. Probably won't use them now, I've already preloaded everything. The uh, Gorilla Pod, just to snap this on. There we go, we can place that somewhere. Homemade flash houses. These are plumbing tubes the t-section ones just so that I can I actually can access them and set up the flashes as I want to when they are set up so I can find adjust um, when I come back here tonight when it's dark in this we ah see bloody hell ah! all right but it's gonna be water sealed ah! come on there we go all right, that was tough. All right, um, battery pack for the receiver as well. So the same as on the camera, everything got spare battery pack. The same goes for the other flash. I made two housings like this. So I've got that one and I got another one. Um, each holds the Nikon SP26 and SP24 flashes. I couldn't get hold of the SP28s because they are still really expensive. I guess people are catching on. Uh, what else? I got some 
stuff to clamp everything down. That's not good. Maybe I shouldn't put stuff on the trail. I think that's a bad idea. It's gonna reek of human here tonight. I got some caminating. Let's see if I really need to use it. I'm just a cloth and uh, some more tie downs. Okay, let's do this. Um, two flash houses, two flashes, one each. The uh, the housing, the camera, uh, the sensor, and uh, receivers and transmitters on everything. So everything is wireless once again. And I really, really, I am psyched about this. I really hope it works. All right, I decided I'm gonna make the composition here. Um, it's quite good, act. It's got a leading line crossing the frame. So I guess that's gonna work. Um, yeah, just gonna give it a shot. Give it a few nights and see how it fares. I'm not sure if you can hear me properly, but right now I decided to put the trail cam here so that the path it will trigger just in front there. We got one flash there, and right now I put one over there. I'm not sure if that's gonna reach, um, it might be too bad. Uh, I'm gonna maybe have to try it somewhere else, and I need to find a place to put the uh, sensor. Uh, probably that tree where you are right now. All right, let's see if it holds. I'm not sure. <laughs> Bam! All right. Let's try. Ah, there we go. Nice. All right, it triggers. Triggers a lot. Okay. Yeah, that might work. Let's try it. Everything is set. The camera is on. We're closing this like that. Maybe put some cam over it. Um, there we go. All right. Fingers crossed. I'm pretty confident we're gonna get something tonight already because of the activity. But I'm really hoping for the fox. That would be really cool. Um, but the badger has been coming through here all week. And uh, as well as the deer. So we should be fine. I'm sorry about the wind. It's really windy. Uh, everything is set up and complete. So let's check in in a few days. All right. See if it fires. If it fires. It does. It still works. All right. Ooh, the. F Ooh. Ooh, okay. Uh, the fox was here. Okay. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, a deer jumping. <laughs> um. Let's check out the big camera. Please be nice, camera gods. All right, let's see here. Okay, let's have a look. Still on, good. Oh, <laughs> well, that's the neighbor's cat. That's quite fun though. It just shows it that it works, you know. So both of them were here. All right, let's see if the fox shows up. Ooh! Ooh, no way! What? What? Please be sharp. What? That is awesome! 
That is so cool. Have a look at this. Wow. It actually works. This is awesome. I'm so psyched with that. That is really good. That is really, really good. <laughs> so that is really cool. It actually works. And the fox showed up. That is so cool. I'm really, really happy that it works. Uh, other than the fox, it took some pictures of the neighbor's cat that has been roaming, both of them. And a deer's behind. Ooh, this is so cool. I'm really pumped for this. All right, let's set, set everything back and leave. But the fox is here. This is really cool. That is really, really awesome. I cannot believe the fox actually came. And it stood right there. That is just so cool. I am super pumped right now. That was well worth it. Trigger it and see if it works and then head out. Yep. We're good. Super happy how that fox picture turned out. I decided to leave the camera out for a couple more weeks and still hoping for the badger and other cool stuff. So I moved the trail camera around a bit, see if I could find any other movements around and I uh, always made sure to check that the camera was actually firing each time I went out. Uh, and always checking the pictures and swapping memory cards if I needed to. And eventually I got some good pictures. I'm really happy how those pictures came out. It shows that the new angle actually worked better. So I'm going to leave the camera here for a couple more weeks and we'll see what happens. Stay tuned for part two. Thanks for watching and make sure to leave a comment if you have any questions.